In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to twix start and flow frame the way I do, and I'm going to show you a few different graphs that I use as well. So, once you have your clip ready, now just remember that you can't use any clip for twix start. It has to be one like this with just a little bit of movement. Um, if there's too much, then that's why you see the warps, okay? So once you've got your clip, we're going to go Control alt t for time remap, drop the key marker, hold control and just start pressing sideways and every time you see this like a movement like this you're just going to drop another marker and then continue on so just keep tapping hold control the whole time and you just keep clicking whenever there's a little bit of movement okay once you've keyframed each bit of movement there you'll see that the, that there's a bit of gaps in between um your your keyframes so there is a plugin for that which is called key alignment which again i can um send you this if you join my discord or just look it up you'll probably be able to find it but what that does is if you change it to one and you highlight all your keyframes press on key alignment it will just put them all together automatically so it saves a lot of time if you don't have this you have you have to drag each frame individually so it's the side by side okay so you need this key alignment plugin here once we've done that, we're going to hold Alt and click on the corner bracket, which will cut the clip like this, or just cut the clip however you like to. Delete this last keyframe that's just on the time remap. Then we'll, we'll put the ruler to the end and we'll hit N, which will bring it in here. Okay, now we've got our time here. We're going to go over here and right click and then just Control C for copy, composition settings, and then in the duration, Control V and then click OK. And you'll see that'll make the composition perfect for our clip here. Now we're gonna render this. So it won't take long to render. Just go best settings, format, go AVI, OK. And then just save it to wherever you want to render it to. Good, now we're gonna flow frame the clip. So you need to have flow frames installed. Um, the best version is 1.32.0. Um, just to get this, you can just search it on Google. It'll come up or YouTube and also just join my discord if you can't find it and i'll help you find it so once you've got it you're going to click onto this tab here and copy these settings here at the top so you just click this drop down here put it onto this one um, and then come down to the output on times two this is the important part make sure that is times eight and then you've just got that should already be on mp4 and then here the 3.1 make sure that's also done there now once that's all finished, you're going to drag your clip that we've just rendered into flow frames. Just click, just drag and drop. And then you'll see on the preview, it comes up there and then just click go. Okay, next step is the Twixter. So once we have our new flow frame clip, you're just going to drag it into your composition. Go control alt T again. And we actually just have to key mark every single frame here. So just hold control and just keep clicking and pressing sideways until you've done every every frame, okay? Once that's done, control shift C for uh, pre-compose, tick move all attributes in the new composition and adjust com composition duration. So have them to ticked, click OK. Then click control alt T again for time remap. Now here we're gonna line it up to your audio or however long you wanna make it. So let's say it's this long here. We would just drag the keyframe to where you want it. Control Shift D, cut and delete the rest. Then we will add the Twixter. Okay, so effects presets. So I just use Twixter Pro, but both work fine. Drag it on here. Click on the um, FPS here, and we're going to change it to 191.8. So the clips that you use should hopefully be in 23.9. Um, FPS so then when you put it into flow frames and times 8 it turns into 191.8 okay that's the best way to do it the smoothest way go to image prep click on this one go to time remap mode we're actually going to change this to frame number click on the um, stopwatch here at the on the first frame and then go to motion way to blend and inverse with smart blend once that's all ticked you're going to click O which will take you near the end of the clip Hold control and then we're going to drag this frame number until we see that the clip stops moving or it goes black like this. Drag it back a little bit. So I'll see it come up again. And then once you have a general idea to get it perfect, we're going to actually tie it and fine. So if there's a little bit of movement, then you'll type the next number and you'll just keep on 
like guessing. Just type in your new number until you get two. So this one will be on. So you see here, 20 is the last frame. If I go 21, nothing happens. Okay, there's no movement. So that means 20 is the last frame where there's movement. So that's what you want to the last frame to be on. Then we're going to hit U on your keyboard twice to open up the Twixter or the frame number key markers. Highlight them both, F9 for easy ease, and we'll go into the graph. So this graph here, up and a little bit in, and then something like this. This is the best like Twixter graph just for a clip like this, which is like someone's face or like there's not much happening. It's just a fast in into slow out like this now you just make sure that it's got movement the whole way if it doesn't so this one does but if it doesn't you would just drag the keyframe out one more time and it would just it would just keep that movement throughout the whole clip and then lastly i'm just going to show you another graph that i use quite often i use this graph in clips that are like fighting clips or just with a bit more movement and you'll see that it makes a nice transition just by using the Twixer itself. So the same thing with everything else with the frame number and having all these here and then we'll find the last frame. So again, you just hold control, drag it until it sort of comes to a stop and then you can just type in until you find the very last frame. Okay, so we'll just say it's about there. And this graph here we're going to go fast in right on the wall here all the way and then we're going to go onto this one and we're going to go fast out as well so all the way down like this so it goes fast in and then it sort of goes very slowly here and then fast back out which makes a nice transition um, and when it's like a fighting clip like if someone's like swinging or something it also looks a lot nicer there it sort of helps with the the clip itself thanks for watching guys i hope you learned something off that um again that's how i do my twix star and flow frames just join my discord for any questions about those plugins and i'll help you out um, and thank you please leave a like and a comment and what on what you want to see next